Hey, what's going on guys? It's OGCP De Silva, and welcome back to some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. We're playing some TDM with a weapon you might not have heard of very much, or probably haven't seen very much at all of either. This weapon is called the BAL, or the ball, and honestly, if you haven't picked up on the sarcasm yet, then I don't really know what to say. But of course, we know that this weapon is the most overused one. You've probably seen it many, many times here on YouTube, and even in the lobbies that you've played in as well in matchmaking and it's arguably the most overpowered one but this is some breaking news in case you have not heard the good news it has been patched it has been nerfed the recoil has been upped from what i'm hearing on twitter and youtube itself that the recoil has considerably been um you know upped and a lot of people are now resorting to other assault rifles or other guns in general because it's become unmanageable now personally i have not tried it out yet so i have yet to do so find out for myself this is some pre-patch ball gameplay in the background as well so just to let you know that this is not post-patch this is pre-patch gameplay and in this gameplay i'm actually playing pretty hard I'm playing like a sweaty tryhard, and at times it's mediocre and borderline camper esque. Okay, you know, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm, I'm not gonna just sugarcoat it. At times, I do use Thunder's tactical immobilization, as what he likes to call it. I think that's hilarious, by the way. Um, right here, this is what I do I just wait for someone to come into my scopes. Bam, son and pick him right off you know I was actually trying not to die you know as best as I could but I tend to die or I do die I think a total of six times in this gameplay and I think I picked up 25 kills something like that and it, in terms of advanced warfare gameplay I think that's a good thing oh my god I just got wrecked by that shotgun right there GCP just got sat down real quick but I just think that advanced warfare is Gameplay standards have been decreased compared to the other Call of Duties. Um, I think a lot more people are, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, tolerable of lower scoring gameplays as far as what I've seen, as far as what people are able to get anyways. But uh, yeah, that's what I got and I think that's a decent gameplay. I don't know what you guys think, but that's what I think. So there are a couple of things I actually do want to talk about. Number one, I did finish the Advanced Warfare campaign today. I don't know if any of you guys have played it or if you guys even play the campaign. I know it's not what makes the Call of Duty franchise. A lot of people play it for the multiplayer, myself included. But at the same time, I do enjoy the campaigns in Call of Duty. But I was actually kind of disappointed with this one. You know, with the three-year development cycle that we thought Sledgehammer put into this game it obviously hasn't shown itself to be honest um, I thought that Call of Duty Ghosts campaign was a tad bit better it was I mean don't get me wrong this campaign was good and all but it wasn't the best one you know with the three year development I thought it would have blown me away but it didn't another thing I want to talk about is my UPIC I play series for those of you who don't really know too much about it or you're new to the series itself it's a TDM only series you know of course I just love slaying and I don't have to worry about any objective or I don't have to worry about anything else any other distraction you're just straight on killing in TDM um, and by the way if you guys have any class suggestions leave them in the comment section below I love doing these in the in the live commentary format they're just candid you know I try to get into lobbies from the very beginning you know the match when it starts so the only time I'm quitting games is if I get put into a game that's already in session and again they don't have to be beast setups at all a lot of times in black ops 2 i got some ridiculous i mean ridiculous class setups that were actually kind of comical because i was struggling and you could hear it and obviously see it so that's uh, another thing i want to talk about and one last thing the elgato hd60 now personally i haven't purchased it myself but I have seen gameplay of the 1080 by 60 and it looks gorgeous. But it's not something that I consider a necessity to buy right now. I think it's just a want. And I'm actually going to wait till that has a price cut. You know, I'm not going to buy a full price. So I'm waiting to, to get it when the price drops so I haven't gotten on top of that and bought it right away. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the 
B-A-L, the Advanced Warfare Campaign, and all that I've talked about. Leave them in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is OGC Peter Silva, and I am signing off.